All right, hey everybody, welcome back to more. So, you know, you guys have been hearing this everywhere on social media, on television, radio, wherever. Everybody is feeling anxious after this election, but our kids are most vulnerable and they can pick up on their parents' anxiety. Here with advice for parents and guardians to calm kids' fears is local psychotherapist, Dr. Patrick Scott. And Doc, I know you've been getting probably yeah. bombarded with all this stuff. Talk about it for me and, and where do we go from here? You know, Washington Post last week said that not since 9-11, mm. school psychologists are actually reporting that there has not been a level of stress in school-aged children since 9-11. Wow. Which is pretty amazing, really. It's actually scary. It is really scary. Yeah. So a few weeks ago, I had a family, of course, before the election, and a lot of their stress had to do with the parents arguing and the stress in the household, mostly because Mommy or daddy just wouldn't turn the TV off. So yeah. we're going to talk about that. Okay, let's so get into tips, it. Yeah. Let's know, get into it. Yeah. Is, as parents, we need to manage ourselves first. Mm -hmm. You know, it's stressful for everyone. Yeah. The difference is, and what's so confusing for kids, is that last week everybody's at each other's throats, and yeah. this week we're supposed to make peace and get along. Mm -hmm. And from a kid's point of view, it just looks really scary. Yeah. One kid came home from school and said, you know, Mommy, I, is there going to be a thermonuclear war? Oh. Right? And so we have to manage ourselves, parents have to manage themselves, and yeah. at least, like with every adult conversation, mm -hmm. it's not meant for kids. That's right. right? And so we gotta manage ourselves. First. Second thing is, it's up to parents to create a home that is safe and secure and stable. Now we talk about that in large global terms, in terms of you know abuse and neglect, uh -huh. but really the kids come home and they, they take, as you said, they take their stress from the kids, yeah. or from the parents yep. rather, and mm -hmm. so we need to create a, a, a safe home, a place that's consistent, and my recommendation is turn the TV off. off. Turn yes. the 24 news channel off. You have to. You have to. Because they're yeah. listening and they're yeah. they're regurgitating a right. lot of what they hear. Well, and whether the stress is coming from the 24-hour news cycle or yeah. whether it's coming from the, the rather heated conversations mm -hmm. among the parents, mm -hmm. kids pick up on that. And yeah. so part of the safety is create a place that's safe, that's quiet, you know, for kids to do kid things. Sure. So that sure. the news is not on. So turn the TV off. Third thing, really, is create a place where you can dialogue. Now, a lot of times kids who come home and say, Mommy, is there going to be a thermonuclear war? Mm -hmm. The natural tendency is, oh, sweetie, no, that's ridiculous. Why yeah. would you say something like that? Yeah. And just like all of us need to vent from time to time, it's important to create a space where kids can just talk. Yeah. and say, you know, I don't know, but at school, they're talking about sending people away. They're talking about all sorts of things, mm -hmm. and I just don't know what to make of it. And so rather than dismissing your child's concerns, and not to validate or say, yes, in fact, there is going to be a war, but rather let them talk and vent about their concerns. And my favorite line with kids, and I work with a lot of kids, sure. is what's the scariest part about this? Oh. And let them talk. And don't immediately shut them down and say, oh, that's ridiculous. Where did you get that crazy idea about anything? Because there's some pretty crazy ideas about a lot of things floating out there. Now. Yeah, there are. So the bottom yeah. line is encourage healthy, responsible dialogue right. about their feelings. And participate with them. And the yeah. natural tendency when we hear a rather outlandish fear in mm -hmm. any of our kids, whether a mm -hmm. ghost in the closet, mm -hmm. a clown under the bed, or my friends are going to be sent away, yeah. is to say, oh, it's, it's really, it's okay, and then really get off of it. But healthy dialogue and say, what's the scariest part about that? Yeah. What, and let them talk about their fears so yeah. that they know that no fear is unreasonable and it may be they need to actually understand that everything's going to be okay because the parents say it's going to be okay. And you know what, Doc, at what point should they seek a professional like you? Because again, I've heard a lot of kids talking, you know, picking my son up from school, even mm -hmm. my son asking questions that make me shudder. Right. What, at what point do you say, okay, now it's time to seek professional help? When it causes what we call clinically significant impairment. They're not sleeping. They're having bad dreams. Yeah. Their, their schoolwork is failing. They're shutting down. They're not talking. They're withdrawing, isolated, uh, in, regressing. And little kids, they will have not, they'll have been potty trained, and they will regress to oh. a place where they're starting to wet the bed again. Yeah. Those are real serious things where kids are really taking on some of this stress, yeah. and actually professional help then is needed. All right. Always good talking pleasure. to you. Thank you so much. My we appreciate pleasure. it. Hopefully, parents, that helps you out. We know there's a lot of dialogue going on. Rachel, over to you.